Hello guys, welcome back to another video. If you guys remember, few days back we installed One UI 6.0 on a Samsung S23 Ultra. Though it wasn't available for Indian region, but we siloed that file and we got few users asking about downgrade process. In this video, we'll talk about how to downgrade your device to stable version of One UI 5.1 from beta version of One UI 6.0. But here remember few things, make sure to take an entire backup of your device because in my case device did not boot up just by wiping the cache partition so I had to wipe the full data of the device to boot into 5.1. So before starting make sure to take a backup of your device. And now without wasting any more time, let's move on to a PC and start the downgrade process. So to downgrade your Samsung S23, you will need a PC Along with this, you'll require softwares like Audin and Freesia. And here you can see I have my Samsung S23 Ultra, which is currently running on One UI 6. If I show you the software information, here you can see that. And downgrading process is quite easy. So first, what you have to do is you need to connect your device to PC and make sure USB debugging is enabled. After that, open up Freesia folder and launch the program. Once you have opened the program, make sure to check this auto here and then tap on check for the update. And before tapping on check for the update, make sure your device is connected to PC. Then it will show you all the details like CSE, mine is India, so it says INS. And after that, my device model later, which is the current stable build is released for my device that will also be shown here. And later you just have to download the same file. So I'll start the download process, select the destination. So I'll keep it on desktop itself and I'll save this file here only. It's a huge file, which is of around it's a huge file of approximate 10 GB, so it might take some time to download. So after download and decrypting process is completed, you'll see the file here, which is of 9.31 GB. Now I'll close this tool and first we have to extract the file now. You can use any tool to extract. I'll extract it in the home screen or you can say desktop itself. Now after you have successfully extracted the file, if you open that folder, you'll see five different files having these alphabets AP, BL, CP, CSC and Home CSC. Now what you have to do is you need to first power off the device, remove data cable and we'll boot into download mode first. So I'll just power off the device and we'll show you how to boot into download mode. Once your device is powered off, you need to press and hold volume up and down key together and then connect the cable. This way your device will boot into download mode. As you can see here, the screen is quite dim, but you can easily read the content available. So to continue to boot into download mode, you need to press the volume up key. I'll do that. And now you can see we are in the download mode. Now you have to open the Audin on your PC, launch this program. And if a device is successfully connected in these boxes, the first one will have the bluish color. Now what you have to do, you need to select all these files one by one first one you can see it says bl so we have to select the file which starts from bl so here you can see that is the file i'll tap on open it's selected now select the second option which says ap the same way you have to select the file which have ap at start once that's done select the third file which is cp and now while selecting the fourth file, which is CSC, you need to make sure you select home CSC instead of that file, which only consists of CSC underscore OXM. If you select this file, entire data will be wiped. So make sure to select the home CSC file and your data won't be wiped. So these are the only four files which are required. And once done, just hit start button. The process have started. It might take five, six minutes. And once completed, will be booted up into one UI 5.1. So once the process is completed, you will see pass written over here. And now your device will boot into one UI 5.1. And if you see this error, which says your device cannot be booted, what you have to do is just hit try again. Once your device screen goes black, hold power key and volume up key together and make sure the cable is connected. That way we'll boot into recovery mode because right now here we don't have any option to go back. We have to again boot a device into recovery mode. So what I'll do is I'll tap on select try again and hold volume up and power key together once the screen is off. Once I see Samsung Galaxy, I'll release both the keys. Now a device should boot into recovery. From here, what you have to do is you need to wipe the cache partition. So go down, 
you can see the option which says wipe cache partitions make selection using the power key navigate to yes and make the same selection once it's done now reboot your system now okay in my case device wasn't booting up without wiping the data so i had to use wipe data option when recovery popped up now let me show you the software information our device have successfully booted if i go to about section software information here you can see we have one ui 5.1 running on our device now this was the latest build which we flashed having august security patch so guys this way you can downgrade your device from one ui 6.0 to one ui 5.1 if you guys still have any kind of questions you can let me know in the comment section below as of now only this much in this video i hope you guys gonna like the video if you like the video then do give us a thumbs up and also if you're new to our channel do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day